Hello, folks, and welcome to your YDOT afternoon video weather briefing on this Wednesday, the 13th of April. I'm Dave Weather Meteorologist, Mark Heuer. Well, we're continuing to see light snow and snow showers and strong winds to impact I-80 tonight into Thursday. Also going to be looking at some additional light snow and snow showers and some strong winds for I-90 into tonight. Western mountains and valleys also looking at some light snow tonight and especially on Thursday. Mostly dry elsewhere with moderating temperatures over the next two to three days and strong and gusty winds coming and going. Here is a look at I-80 from late this morning, the Arlington area. Westbound is right there. We do have a semi truck here and we had very poor visibility to whiteout conditions from some light snow and strong and gusty winds here today on I-80. That's the reason for the closures. And even though I-80 is opening back up still, Reduced to poor visibility, slick and icy roads, some black ice and blowing snow on I-80 here late this afternoon. This is in the Foot Creek area, just to the west of Arlington. Here is the Cooper Cove area, off to the east of Arlington. Road surface is right there, so as you work your way across I-80 here the rest of the day and tonight, do take it slow and be careful for we'll continue to see moderate to high impacts. Over the course of tonight, we will be looking at some additional snow showers, lower elevations for this blue shade area with some light snow and snow showers across higher elevations. Going to be picking up anywhere from a trace to a half an inch of snowfall across lower elevations. Could pick up another inch to two across high elevations, including I-80 potentially between Laramie and Rollins and also around the Three Sisters in the far west. We'll see some strong and gusty winds into this evening here for the yellow shaded area and across much of I-80. But winds will be subsiding as we get into especially late this evening and tonight. And we'll be looking at our 15 to 25 mile per hour winds and gusts of 30 to 40 that we'll see through probably 8 or 9 o'clock decreasing even further to breezy conditions for a period tonight before they start to pick back up on Thursday. So a little light snow and snow shower activity in the far north and northeast traced to a half an inch of possibility into tonight of new snow with those northwest winds anywhere from 15 to 25 and some gusts at 35 to 45. So we will be looking at some areas of blowing snow as well on sections of I-90 and secondary roads across the northeast. And it will be this yellow shaded area here that'll be seeing the gusty northwest winds into tonight. Mostly dry, cold, with light to breezy winds elsewhere across non-shaded areas. For your Thursday, going to be looking at some light snow and snow shower activity throughout the blue shaded area. This blue dashed area picking up a little bit of heavier snow, two to four inches through the blue dashed area in the higher elevations, including Togedy and Teton passes, possibly South Pass as well, with one to two inches in the valleys. Then throughout the blue shaded area, including much of Southern I-80 and I-25, traced a one half inch of accumulation lower elevations early in the morning and during the overnight hours with another one to two inches across the northern Uintas, the southern mountains, and also possibly the higher elevations of I-80 between Laramie and Rollins, and also around the Three Sisters on your Thursday. And we'll be looking at increasing westerly winds picking back up throughout the yellow shaded area on your Thursday. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds again likely mid to late morning through the late afternoon hours with some gusts of 40 to 50. So we'll again be seeing some blowing snow on I-80, especially between Laramie and Rollins for your Thursday. Mostly dry, chilly, light to breezy winds through the non-shaded areas and in far northeastern Wyoming still. Northwest winds 15 to 25, gusts of 35 to 45 on Thursday. So what does all this mean for road impacts? Well, moderate impacts for yellow shaded area across western and much of southern Wyoming from slick roads and black ice and higher elevations, some blowing snow, slick areas and black ice, lower elevations. The red dashed area here in south central Wyoming, including sections of I-80 between Laramie and Rollins, moderate to high impacts from additional light snow, some slick roads, black ice, reduced to poor visibility and blowing snow. This holds true tonight through the day on Thursday, 
Green shaded areas dry to mostly dry roads and some breezy to strong winds, no real impacts. Then here in the north and northeast, AM, slick roads and black ice likely. Limited areas of blowing snow, improving PM conditions with wet to dry roads. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you tomorrow.